So today's question can actually be considered two questions because in order to understand his death, we must first understand who TK Baja is as a person. So who is TK Baja and who killed him in Borderlands 1? And I think the best way to answer this is to start with who he is and then gradually move into his murder. So TK Baja was a man that hailed from the planet of Isolus, where he lived with his wife Marion as a designer for different types of weapons. His designs were great enough to earn recognition in the corporate world where they would be coveted by the Hyperion Corporation and later stolen by Mr. Blake, Hyperion's corporate tool, and a character who appears in Borderlands 1 and 2. With the plans in hand and to make sure they remained the sole proprietor of the weapon designs, Hyperion would send assassins after TK Baja, but not before Mr. Blake instructed Baja and his wife to leave Isolus and hide off-world or he will die. He and his wife took this advice and left for Pandora where he'd settle near Firestone in an old rickety hut. Sometime later, TK would lose his wife as well as his legs and sight to a skag named Scar. It is after these events that the original Vault Hunters arrive at Firestone where they find TK without his legs, a wife, and a shotgun. One more step and it'll be your last. <laughs> you should have seen the look on your face. <laughs> it is with the help of TK that we first get settled into the daily life on Pandora. And it is also with his help that we rid Firestone of its bandit problem and get our hands on the first fragment of the vault key. When all is said and done, we depart Firestone and leave TK to his lonesome. Only later, in a quest given by Scooter, do we return to find Baja's lifeless body strung up on a ceiling fan in his small home. While we don't know who exactly killed TK, I have some ideas that are all backed up by pretty incriminating evidence. After we leave TK's home, we are attacked by a group of psychos. It is safe to note that they only spawn in after you find TK's body and are roughly around level 20, which is way past the usual level for the arid badlands. Now you could say that without anyone left in Firestone, these remaining bandits raided and took out the last of the civilized people in the area. However, you could also argue that since it was TK who sent us to kill the local bandit lords, that these bandits were a part of Nine Toes' or Sledge's crew and that they are simply getting revenge on the one who sent us after their boss. But it is also possible that given his past and recent events that aren't revealed until Borderlands 2, TK might have been killed by Hyperion. And I say this because as we know, Angel is revealed to be in league with Handsome Jack in 2, who had her guide us into opening the Vault of the Destroyer in Borderlands 1. Considering that Jack is a Hyperion employee around this time and that she, as well as him, are constantly watching and monitoring us, it's possible that, through us, they found TK Baja and sent assassins after him once he was of no use to finish what they started on Isolus and ensure his weapon designs live with Hyperion and die with him. Regardless of who killed him, death wouldn't be the end of TK as he was soon risen as a zombie and returned as a quest giver in Dr. Ned's DLC as well as TK Baja's Bloody Harvest. As for his weapon designs, they are still manufactured and can be acquired to this day in Borderlands 3. Hopefully that answers who is and who killed TK Baja, but if you have any other questions, comments, or concerns regarding this video, Borderlands, or its lore, you can leave them in the comment section down below, and I'll be sure to read each and every one of them. Thanks for watching.